What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Chocolate Shoots and today we've got a bit of a different video. Basically, Steam have been pushing their new group chat feature and a bunch of other features in the Steam Winter Holiday Sale. Basically, there's been a ton of challenges to use chat effects and different emojis, talk to friends, join voice channels, etc, etc. So Steam are putting a lot of effort into getting this feature some legs. Now, of course, this is supposed to be a competitor to Discord of some sort, at least having a very similar design to Discord. But there is unfortunately one terrible difference that completely breaks the way that this works. So looking at a group chat that I created over the end of 2019 for that December holiday sale, and you can see that there's over 2000 members and it's been growing quite nicely with tons of people joining and leaving. Now this has been great, and I can proudly say that my Steam group has grown so much primarily because of my YouTube channel and the videos that I did on the December winter sale. Basically in each one of these descriptions, if I open up a video, look at the description, show more, you can see a group invite link, which people are clicking, opens in a new tab, and then it says you've been invited to a Steam group chat. You hit go to chat group, and this window will pop up over here, putting you inside the group. Great, that's basically how it works with Discord as well. Well, that is great, except for one small issue. If I have a look at the video over here, you can see the link down in the description below. If I were to go into the group over here, hit the settings button on the top right, you can see that I am the group chat owner on this account. I can change permissions. However, if I go across to invite links, you can see that I can copy the link and people are allowed to create their own links over here. Now, as great as that is, I can simply change it from one day to one hour or never, which is what I've been doing over the past few days. However, every night when I wake up, the link is suddenly invalid, even though I set it to never expire and it's suddenly no longer on this list over here. Why is that? While I originally thought that Steam was disabling the links because of the massive amount of people joining, there's over 2,090 members, and to put that into some kind of context, looking at another YouTuber's group, we have Anomaly Steam Group over here that's covered with bot advertising. However, you can see that they have 2,550 members in the chat at once. Of course, there's the Steam group behind this one, but this one's purely just a chat group similar to a Discord where there's no group that you have to join in order to join the group chat. Either way, if I go ahead and invite another account of mine, you can see exactly what is wrong with this. Basically, if I go into the settings, head across to permissions, everyone, and allow people to create their own invite links. If I tab across to my laptop, which is on a completely different user account, as you can see, I can message myself. If I were to have a look at the group chat, I can hit the settings button in the top right as anyone else would. I see I'm the owner, head across to permissions, and I'm not able to edit this, I'm only able to view it. If I head across to invite links, you can see that I can create links, but I can also delete links. If I were to click on any one of these, including the one that says never, I can hit the delete, delete, and it is suddenly removed for absolutely everyone. If I head across to my main PC, turn off invite new members permission for everyone, then people will no longer be able to create an invite link. If I head back to my laptop, hit the settings wheel on the top right, head across to invite links, you can see you do not have permission to modify this page. While I've successfully stopped people griefing it and deleting the permanent invite links that I leave on forums, YouTube videos, etc, etc. However, people can't create their own invite links. They can only invite people directly from their friends list if they click on someone and invite them that way. Heading back to my main computer, if I were to close out of the settings window with the invite new members disabled for everyone. If I were to head across to someone like Anomaly Steam Group, which is a massive YouTuber, I can hit the settings wheel in the top right, pull up this window over here, go across to invite links, and as you can see, because Anomaly or whoever created the Steam group has the permission enabled for everyone, you can create your own invite links. However, you can also delete any other invite link here, including the ones that are set to never expire. So hypothetically, if I knew that this link is posted in every single YouTube video of Anomalies or on a ton of forum posts, I can simply just find it and hit the delete button, hit delete, and boop, it disappears, the link was never there. Now, of course, because I'm not a massive troll, I'm not gonna delete the ones that are set to never expire in case they're actually somewhere useful. However, this is incredibly broken, and if Valve was trying to push this as some kind of alternative to Discord, they need to have a more robust permissions system. With the biggest issue out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and touch over a little other quirk of mine that I really dislike about the Steam group chat. Inside of the settings, if I go to permissions, everyone, there's only a few settings, there's no channel individual settings. I can only rename, delete, and invite a friend to a voice channel. If I were to head into one of these channels over here, and scroll up to the top, 
you can see I posted a YouTube video which is relevant to this tab. And I've said after completing the challenge, blah, 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 please avoid from chatting here to let other people see the video and message. Instead, use the not working and home channels, thanks. Basically, I wanted these ones to be announcement channels where they can see a video if they'd like to complete one of these quests for the Steam holiday sale. Now, of course, because there is no individual channel control, all of a sudden everyone starts spamming the channel and the important message gets pushed way up to the very top and absolutely no one can see it, which is incredibly annoying to say the least, especially if you would have some kind of rules channel, which is very easy to do with Discord. So Steam, if you're trying to get the Steam chat feature to be a competitor to Discord, please do have a better look into your permissions because they are currently incredibly broken and lacking in features. How deleting invite links has been broken, I have no idea. However, this is probably the number one thing you need to fix before you start working on a new robust permission system. Obviously, I have no idea what goes on in the background of Valve, these are just the two main issues that I have with their new chat feature, which they're really trying to push and give some legs. Anyways, my name's been Signal here for Troubleshoot. This is a much different video, but I really do hope this reaches Steam in some sort of capacity and they have a look into this. Anyways, ciao.